Well, it's wonderful to see everyone here. I want to start out by thanking a few people, certainly the folks at Maths World UK and folks at the University of Leeds who were wonderful to step up and host this second conference. Two years ago, we were in Dresden, and uh, it was just a wonderful opportunity to meet people from around the world who are doing maths outreach and trying to open maths museums or already running maths museums. And we came away with so many new relationships and so many new ideas and so many new uh, ways to interact with the public. And so I hope this will be as uh, exciting and as productive for everyone. Um, I also want to thank um, Oppenheimer Funds, which is a big supporter of MoMath. And if you check out our booth in the exhibition hall, you'll see some items there that we put together with their support. And I also must thank a couple of other people, my colleagues Glenn Whitney and Tim Nissen, who are here with me, without whom there would be no Museum of Mathematics. So my thanks uh, go out to them as well. But also, thanks to many of you in this room, um, I can point to Herr Beutelspacher, sitting over here, who um, really his museum, if you haven't been to in Gießen, Germany, is, is a wonderful place to visit. And it was Glenn's visit there that I think was inspirational toward the idea that ended up becoming the National Museum of Mathematics in New York. And we have visited many museums over the years and picked the brains of many museum executives and many folks who do maths outreach. And all of that has gone into helping us create a museum of mathematics in the US. Even as recently as this past week, we visited with four different museums right here in the UK. And so that continues, and I would encourage everyone to pay that forward. So if people in this room help you, and you hear other people that want to get involved with Maths Outreach, please do continue that and pay it forward. Um, along that note, we have two years for Matt's contest for the new name of the next matrix, or the new acronym for matrix. We have two years until the next conference, which we hope will be in the summer of 2018. What we don't know yet is where it will be. So if you're sitting out there thinking that you've got the perfect place to host, please do come and speak to me before the end of this conference, and we'll see if we can get the ball rolling. Um, people wanted to know what's, what's new at MoMath, and uh, one of our philosophies is always, uh, it's better to show you than to tell you. And so I have two videos that I thought I would share. The first one uh, is an event called Solstice Stars. We wanted to do something to celebrate mathematics and the winter solstice. And so, rather than telling you... That was the event we did last December, and uh, what you saw were a number of people, just random New Yorkers who signed up or who were passing by, holding glowing light sticks, which we then tried very hard to arrange into a heptagram, and I think in the end it, it worked pretty well. Uh, the video was taken from the top of the Flatiron Building, so we had to coerce the people who actually have an office up there to let us in. But in the end, it was something that was, I think, pretty compelling for people that were participating in. Lots of people were tweeting images around the world. Um, and that's the kind of thing that we really enjoy doing at MoMath, is finding ways to just grab the attention of the general public and show them that math can be cool. Um, the next video I want to show you actually was a contest winner. We run a contest for math teachers in the US. And the contest is for a math teacher that's come up with a very compelling activity in the classroom, something that can be replicated so it doesn't cost a lot of money something that kids get into and something that has a really uh, strong mathematical message. And we like this winner's activity so much that we decided to replicate it with what we call a random walk on Wall Street.
join the party. So what we were looking at there were people basically um, rolling a die. It was either odd or even, step forward or step back. And in the end, we showed that it was somewhat of a normal distribution. Um, and that was really compelling for students to do in their auditorium or on their football field or for visitors and passersby to do on the streets of New York. So again, something that just got everyday people engaged with math in a way that they maybe hadn't been engaged before. And the last thing um, that I thought I would show you are just some clips from our Instagram uh, page. So this is just sort of random activities that have been going on in the museum. So we like these glowing light sticks. You've seen them before. We actually did an event at Brooklyn Bridge Park where we made a uh, Coke snowflake. And we did another great event. This was designed by Glenn Whitney. We started out with a whole bunch of pentagons and made dodecahedra, and in the end, ended up with this. And that was a lot of fun for people to participate in. Um, we've showed movies at MoMath. This is a movie about a math circle on an Indian reservation, a Navajo reservation. We have a concert series where we try to combine math and music. And um, we have a book club where we talk about lots of different mathematically based books. This is what MoMath looks like today. This is an example of uh, you make lemonades when you're given lemons. So the building above us needs some repair and they decided they needed to put a scaffolding up that's gonna be up for a long time that completely covers our front entrance and our signage. So I said to Tim, well, just design really big signs to go on the scaffolding and, and just Let's see what happens. Let's see if they let us do it, and they did. So actually now, you can see MoMath from Fifth Avenue, which you couldn't before. So encourage people who are visiting the city to come on by. We did something for a National Sunglasses Day. If you came in sunglasses, it was free. We're kicking off some tours. This is something new, um, where you'll be able to come in and hear some inside stories about MoMath and about what's there. Some of you will recognize this. Um, if we talk about collaborations that come out of this conference and others like this, you can see in the fine print, this is a little dome structure. There'll be another picture in a few minutes, but you can see it says uh, Maka and MoMath. And this is from our friends at Maka. This was a gift and um, that we had a lot of fun with this. Um, so this is what we built in the museum and visitors really had a great time with this jump back a little bit, the winter solstice event was so much fun that we decided we should do a summer solstice event too. We did something called Solstice Polystar, and here's an image of what that looked like at the end of the day. Um, lots of classroom pictures. We've actually turned our math square into a disco dance floor some nights. This is Nate Silver. Some of you may have heard of him. He's a statistician that's known for predicting baseball games and elections. And so uh, many of you may be aware this is quite an election year in the U.S. And uh, so we're actually delighted Nate is going to be the guest of honor at our gala coming up in October. So if anyone's going to be in New York in October, and you want to hear what Nate has to say about uh, this mystifying election season, Come on by. So we had a really great event. Um, many of you may have seen the movie The Man Who Knew Infinity about Ramanujan. And this is Ken Ono, a mathematician who was very involved with the, also the leading actress, Davika Bees. And they came and they did a program at MoMath. We did a few programs with that movie. 
It's really great to see movies that are coming out that are talking about mathematics. Um, this was a wonderful one. I understand there's a new movie coming out this January about some women who became important mathematical computers during the war effort. And we're getting to the end. Uh, if you haven't seen the 120-sided die, this is something we're carrying in MoMath, but was made very popular by Matt Parker playing with it at another conference and uh, sharing the video around the world. And getting toward the end, uh, well, this was another event we did. We did a festival, our own math festival, uh, down on Wall Street. Um, some of you may know about the Pokemon <coughs> Go craze. Uh, there are Pokemon creatures in MoMath, it appears. So another reason to come to MoMath. And a little bit later in the conference, uh, you'll hear about a new collaboration uh, that's maybe based on this a little bit that we hope to be bringing to museums around the world. Uh, Philip Lanier is going to talk to you about that, but it's based on Pokemon Go a little bit. And finally, um, I'll tell you what's coming, what's not in MoMath yet. We have a new exhibit. If you've ever wanted to drive on a mathematical track, we have something coming called Twisted Throughway. And I'll close by trying to show you, let's see if I can do this, uh, a quick video. <coughs> Oops. Yeah, I'm trying to get out of full screen. Hang on. Ah, there we go. A quick video of the Twisted Throughway exhibit, which is coming this month to MoMAD. So what you're seeing is a car driving, but you're also seeing a point of view camera that's mounted in that car as it's going around the Mobius strip. So the view does become upside down at some point. So that's what's coming to MoMath next in September, and we hope you'll all come visit and check it out. And I just want to thank everyone for being here. I hope that everybody walks away with new friends, new partners, and new collaborations. Thank you for coming.